Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at how to upgrade the BIOS on the MSI B350M VDH. Okay, so you've just got your new MSI motherboard, the uh, B350M VDH, and you've got your Ryzen APU, and you turn it on, and the first thing you do is you get a single CPU LED on the Easy Debug LED system. So what that means is you need to upgrade your BIOS. Now, I'm gonna show you now how to get the BIOS files and how to upgrade them. Uh, the only thing you will need to do for this is to either get yourself a donor chip, an AM4 compatible chip, um, or you can get one from AMD directly as a, a lone CPU to perform this process. So I'm gonna quickly change CPUs and we'll be right back. Okay, so while we're doing this BIOS update, one of the things we're going to need is the latest BIOS file, preferably on a USB stick. So we're going to go onto the uh, manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS for Ryzen APUs. Okay, so this is the uh, website for the MSI B350M Pro VDH, which is the one we're updating. And we've gone into the support section and into BIOS. So this is the latest BIOS at the moment. Uh, I'm filming this now it's towards the end of March 2018 and the latest BIOS is from the 15th to the 3rd 2018. So um, that one contains the new update code for the new upcoming processor. So that's the one we're going to need. That's the latest one. Uh, so what we're going to need to do now is with our USB drive, first thing to do is format the drive so that it's in the right format. Uh, it needs to be FAT32, ideally. So let's go to the drive and click format and it's a 32 gig drive the size doesn't matter as long as it's 8 gig or above it should be fine so I'm going to reset it back to the defaults and erase the drive obviously if you've got anything on the USB drive that you need to keep don't do this you need a blank drive to start with well ideally so that's our drive formatted so if we now click on the download and it's asking us what we want to do with the file. So we're going to choose Save As and go to our Kingston USB drive and click Save. This should only take a few seconds on most systems. And then you can go in to open the folder. Now you'll see that there's a, a zipped folder. So I'm going to extract that folder which again should only take a few seconds. And if you go into the folder, you'll notice there's a text document telling you what the file is all about and which version it is. And there's also a, uh, in this particular case, it's an ABO file. Uh, yours may be different depending on which version you're doing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that file and I'm gonna stick it in the root of the USB flash drive. Don't think this is absolutely necessary, but I'd like to do it just to make things simpler so that when I boot up with the USB stick in the new uh, motherboard, it can find it easily. So that's the USB drive ready with the latest BIOS. So now we can take the USB stick to the new motherboard with our AM4 compatible processor and start the BIOS update process. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're back now at the uh, well test rig or whatever you want to call it. So now we've got our USB stick installed with the BIOS files on and we've added another graphics card because the Ryzen 1700X doesn't have an onboard uh, APU or GPU, which is a good thing because that's part of the problem. So we've got our graphics card, that's hooked up. Um, we've moved the HDMI cable from the motherboard into the graphics card so we can get an output. So all we've got to do now is jump start it with the BIOS uh, USB flash drive installed and get on into the BIOS. Using a trusty screwdriver to jump start everything, all you need to do is short out the two pins for the uh, power on. Uh, hopefully, this should boot up. Fingers crossed. And yes, here we are. So it says devices has changed CPU or memory, or CMOS has been cleared. Please enter setup to configure your system. Press F1 to run setup, or press 2 to run the default. But we want to go in and change the boss, so let's hit F1. And here we are, there is the MSI Click BIOS. So it's reporting our processor correctly, it's a Ryzen 7 x and it's registering eight gigs of RAM, which is what we've currently got installed in the second slot. Um, if you don't put it in the second slot, it will not boot. 
just uh, Baradak mine, so uh, slot A2, I think they call it. Anyway, let's go through the uh, BIOS now and update. So I've not actually been in this BIOS before, so I'm not entirely sure what or where the options are. So what we want is upgrade, oh, M flash. So M flash, that is the, uh, the BIOS flashing option. So system will auto reboot to enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Yes. It's always quite scary when you're doing this, so if you're uh, of the faint-hearted or you're not entirely sure what you're doing, stop. Don't do it. Get someone else to do it and blame them. So we're entering flash mode. And it's picked up the uh, SanDisk USB stick and it's given a list of our BIOSes there. So it did show the folder, um, the 7A35VAB, but I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to select the BIOS with the mouse. So it says the current BIOS is version uh, VA.60 and we want to update it to version VA.B0. So are you sure you want to select this file? It's uh, now or never, so if you're not sure, again, don't press anything, stop, get someone else to, or a qualified professional to do it. Um, if you're confident you've got the right BIOS, hit it. So we are, BIOS is updating. Now this is a lot nicer than the BIOS updates of uh, years ago where you had a DOS screen and it was all in kind of uh, white and blue and you had a little yellow bar along the bottom and it was absolutely terrifying as it was trying to load off a floppy disk. And uh, well, luckily I never had one of those fail but floppy disks were never the most reliable. So. Right, so that's the BIOS update completed. It's uh, then re rebooted twice to update the settings. And now we're left with our um, boot media error, which is fine because there's no hard drives attached or no SSDs attached, so it's not likely to boot into anything. So now what we need to do is remove the CPU, swap it back for the APU, and see if we can get it to boot now. Be right back. Okay, so that's all the uh, BIOS update done. We've now got our Ryzen APU installed back in the uh, motherboard, and we've gone with the stock AMD cooler and the 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. So, all we need to do now is to see if it'll post. Trusty screwdriver, jump start, power is a good idea. I do that frequently. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll notice I do it a lot. Fingers crossed, that fan is still too noisy, it's going to have to go. Speaking of fans, what we're going to do is we're going to do some testing with the stock fan, a Cooler Master 212 LED, a GameX 400 and hopefully some water cooling in the, uh, the form of the uh, Thermaltake radiator system, the all-in-one, the 240 RGB, so we'll try that out as well. But this is booted up, it's picked up the DDR speed of 2400 MHz, which is great news. CPU temperature is running at 31 degrees, the motherboard temperature is 34, and it's picked up the CPU as AMD Ryzen 3 2200G with Radeon Vega graphics. Um, so we're all good. So all we've got to do now is do a little bit of tweaking when we get back into Windows, see what we can get it up to, do some benchmarks and some testing, and hopefully you'll join me for that in the next video. 
So I've been Mike, this has been Upgrading the BIOS on the MSI B350M Pro BDH and look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching.